Hello everyone and welcome back to Cattails. We are here with Mossy adventuring along the edges of the forest colony and today we're kind of setting our sights on trying to develop some better friendships with the other cats in the colony. So far we've done a really good job of being able to run around and collect up oh so many treasures that we can coo over here inside of our den. Oh my goodness and actually the white fireflies and their glow now that it is Oh, wow. Now that it is winter, it's actually really beautiful. Kind of like watching the frost glint off of, or like the sunlight glint off of the frost here. I actually really like that. And you know, last time we were talking about maybe decorating for some sort of special winter celebration. And now I see how the golden seal looks. We could probably use all of this golden seal. <gasps> I had no idea you could just click on things to pick them up in your den. Oh my goodness. I had no idea, you guys! That is so cool! That makes life so much easier! And let's grab this red firefly and this green firefly. And we're actually gonna go out and we might have a little bit of a celebration with the mayor. Mayor, how are you doing? Hello again. I'm rather busy, but we can chat for a bit if you'd like. Herbs and berries of all sort grow bountifully through the forest colony. If you find some, bring them back. They're yours for the keeping. Some have healing properties and some make for good snacks. It uh, the best herb gathering cats know just what a plant will do just by looking at it. Wonderful mayor. So he is very happy and hopefully we have something we can give him as a gift. Let's try... Uh, you know, he was just talking about herbs and berries. So let's actually try giving him one of the winter blueberries as a possible gift. Uh, let's go ahead and give that to him. Okay, he's happy to take it. But last time we started to kind of hint at this idea. Ooh, and I can actually pick up all. Oh, I had no idea you could just click on all of these things to pick them up. But we had started to talk about the idea of maybe having celebrations and traditions and special events when we play cattails. And I kind of like the idea that maybe by winter, maybe winter eight, winter 10, somewhere around that range, it might be nice to have set up the camp so that we can celebrate like have a little winter moon celebration and possibly give a gift to everybody in the camp maybe even give their ideal gift to them so it might be really fun to go around with all of our golden seal and to kind of drop it like in a pattern i was kind of thinking we would only decorate the big tree but maybe we'll put the like glowing fireflies around the big tree and maybe Mossy, in the interest of trying to make friends and in the interest of trying to celebrate that we have gotten through the winter alive, since it is hard to be a wild cat, we'll go ahead and we might decorate with the golden seal around the place a little bit. There we go. Maybe we can even get ourselves a new thing from Ember's shop to help the celebration. <laughs> All right, we can get more golden seal out. There we go. Nice! I think this might be fine! Just sort of put all of our golden seal out for this big celebration that we can have. It'd be cool if you had like quests and things to do from the mayor. Maybe we'll give ourselves quests of some type in the future. That might be kind of nifty. Alright, so we'll kind of decorate around here. And there we go. We can always collect it up and give most of it to Doc later. But maybe also laying everything out like this sort of like celebrates the abundance that is available in our colony. All right, let's see. Maybe just making a nice little pile. There's that. The mayor's patrolling around the place. So we'll figure it out. We'll just kind of decorate. I just think it'd be sort of a cute and fun idea. All right, we're getting a little bit hungry. So let's go ahead and we are going to eat that delicious, um, absolutely delicious bunny that we had. And then we can decorate with some of the glowing colors next to the mayor's tree. Oh, maybe it's because Mossy, maybe Mossy stayed long enough. All right, let's see. Let's go ahead and... There we go. But maybe Mossy stayed long enough with the humans that she used to live with that she remembers like a brightly glowing tree in the winter time with all of the red and all of the green fireflies. And we can kind of celebrate on that note. Lyris, what do you think? Why is there a, f did, did I drop that? I don't remember dropping that. I must've dropped that. Oh, I'm just dropping stuff all over the place. Hey, Lyris. Good day to you, my rose. If you can kindle the fire of a burning passion and keep it lit deep inside you, nothing will be able to stand in your way. Go out and make something great, Mossy. Oh, I hear you. I hear you, Lyris. Yes, I'm sure that means we're supposed to maybe kindle a passionate romance with you, but um, I, I happen to just casually, for some reason, have this mouse to give the scout. Good to see you. You look up to anyone in particular, Mossy? Everybody's got a role model that they respect. Mine is Doc. 
that cat knows a thing or two about how to treat you right. That sounds wonderful, Scout. Let's see if I can actually, even though it's just the alpha right now, actually increase my friendship with you. How about that? Let's go ahead and give you a mouse. Oh wow, I've always loved these. <gasps> yes, we're up to four we're up to four stars with him. So maybe we will have some sort of special relationship with him. But yeah, I like this idea, guys. What do you guys think about creating some traditions where we could try to decorate? And if we don't, it's not like there's gonna be a punishment. It, but it'd be like if you didn't put up the Christmas tree, if you celebrate Christmas in your family and you just didn't get around to doing it that year, it's not gonna be that exciting as years that you might go all out. So maybe it'd be fun just to sort of decorate and when winter eight comes around focus on spending the whole day in the camp giving gifts to the cats and getting to know them a little bit better that might be kind of fun we'll say that the mayor told us about it and maybe ember is up to something with that idea too hi there have you come to check out my fine wares sometimes i like to take walks in the woods at night i don't know why but there's something calming about the forest when no one else is around i might go on one for tonight well it's usually calming sometimes the trees look all weird and scary and dark and spooky Actually, I changed my mind. No walks for me. Not in the dark, anyways. Oh, maybe we should make like a trail of fireflies somewhere. That might be kind of nice. All right, let's go ahead and visit the shop. And what else is there to buy now that we have a scarf to keep us warm and that adorably cute little bell that we rewarded ourselves with for getting so deep into the mines? Let's see. Oh yeah, the inventory expansion. That would be a very reasonable thing to go ahead and snag. And maybe we want to become like super rich Mew wise and get tons and tons of Mews. Oh, and I forgot about the cute little sweater. It might be nice to get the little sweater. I hope there's going to be tons and tons and tons of hats and accessories in the end when the game actually comes out in full version because I absolutely love that. I love collecting them too. It's really fun. All right, so we'll focus on gathering up some Mews, but we'll also try to find and, you know, just I guess we can't get any more golden seal unless we bought it, but we can decorate We can see what we can find in order to make a really nice special event uh, Also, we still have to do some of our basic work too We need to continue our efforts as a spy cat and it looks like there's some things going on up at Canyon Creek How are the mystics taking Canyon Creek even though it's way up there? Huh? Well, let's go check out the ruins I just I have a feeling in my paws today that there might be something good to find up at the ruins and I'd kind of like to spend some time just playing. Oh, 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 ah, that mouse saw me. Darn. I can't casually accidentally bring that mouse to scout now. <laughs> but I just kind of feel like eh, there might be something to find in the forest today. Just sort of an itching feeling I have. Or maybe, maybe Mossy has just decided she wants a nice day out. All right, let's see what we can find. It'd be cool if some of the paths that go to the left, like, would take you to secret areas. Yes! I casually just kind of accidentally ended up getting that mouse. Uh, oh yeah, and our skills. So I think we'll probably want to upgrade uh, hunting. In fact, let's go ahead and upgrade hunting now to represent the fact that we have the new uh, locating prey skill, the active skill, and also that we've been putting in some good work trying to get a little bit better at our hunting. I do like the idea of almost never upgrading the swimming. It'd be fun to make another cat. Uh, maybe we'll do that soon if you guys are interested in it too. But a brand new, fresh, never before seen cat that could represent a really active swimmer. And we might even go down like a whole bunch of the other active skills and try something else, like only being able to take a over territories with fighting for instance uh, or let's see hmm and that warp to the temple it's gonna be interesting to see what the temple might do we might have to investigate around there but that might be more of a springtime activity all right flower planes unfortunately no flowers now that it is the winter oh but there we go some of the winter berries we'll go ahead and collect those up and I guess if we work on expanding our inventory soon, then that will also allow us to carry a lot more food to be able to go and investigate the mines. And if we can investigate the mines, we can get to the 100th floor and find that super special item that I have been hearing about that I would be very happy to collect because Mossy is a little bit of a collector cat. All right, interesting. Look at them. Have these always glowed? I don't remember these glowing before. Huh. The ruins are definitely doing something quite new. Hmm. We'll keep an eye on that. But let's investigate around all the corners. We'll go ahead and use Sprint just really quickly. I don't think there's any cats in the area. And there's no food in the area either from the looks of it. 
But now that we've checked it all out, let's go ahead and use our diplomacy skill. Just to say... Hmm... Just to say that Mossy kind of nosed around the area, trying to figure out why the Mystics have 0.5% control of this zone now. We're going to take it back from them, but I'm a little bit curious to find out why the Mystics were over here. And it looks like there's a big fight going on, maybe between the Mountain and Mystic clan up at Oakwood. So we might kind of wiggle up along the creeks uh, out of curiosity just to see what the Mystics are doing, or like up here, and to figure out what Mountain clan is doing since we have been trying very aggressively to take some of their territory from them. A fact that Mossy's quite proud of. Oh, hey, cutie! What are you doing here? Hold your head high and proud, Mossy. You belong to a strong and prestigious colony. Hmm, interesting. I would love to find out more about why the cats really like competing like that. Alright, let's see. Oh, it looks like there's a bird nest up there! <gasps> That's so cool! I still think it'd be cool if you could attack trees and occasionally, like, a nest would fall out. That would be kind of fun. Alright, anything up here? I don't think so. And no cats to pick a fight with. Hmm. Oh, there's there's a mouse. Finally some food. But what do you guys think about challenges? Like, what would you do to give yourself a good challenge in Cattails as it stands? I still think it'd be really fun if the mayor could give us, like, different different tasks and then you get, like, a bonus muse than you would normally get for those items each day. Let's see. Anything over here? To, oh, dang it. Scared away that dove. And it's kind of fun to be able to walk across the ice, Mossy. Oh, and we scared the dove again. Oh, and look at that cute tiny bridge. I don't know if I've ever noticed that cute tiny bridge before. All right. And what about over here? Whoa! Whoa! Well, I can't turn my back on my colony. Oh, my goodness. Wow! Wow! Okay, Oakwood. <laughs> Oakwood was having quite the battle. That's amazing. That was between the Mountain and the Mystics, and now we took it over so hardcore <laughs> that we actually have uh, the majority, or almost the majority control. Wow. Good job, Whiskers. Everybody is super proud. And Blackie. Oh my gosh, look, everybody is just like, Felix is over here. Be safe near the rivers. The current is strong and can easily sweep you off your feet if you're not careful. Well, we don't have to worry about that because it's icy right now. There's Blackie. Wow, there's a whole bunch of Mews. Everybody is super proud. <laughs> Except for Sulk, who's like sulking because we're scaring away the prey, apparently. But I wonder why they were fighting in the first place. I mean, I guess just to control territory. The more territory you control, the more likely you are to be able to stay alive, after all. Mossy's not ever, even with how uh, poorly coordinated we are, we've never really had to worry about getting enough food, though. Which is why it might be fun to focus on, uh, like, our own personal challenges and just our own ideas of what to do. Though the beta for Cattails, and for those of you who don't know, because it may be phrases that you're unfamiliar with, Alpha, oh, there's some more food, and we actually need to eat some of these. Let's go ahead and eat. Alpha means that it's like one of the earliest versions of the game that you can possibly create. That's <laughs> so much fun. Oh, there's a whole frog. Okay, let's see if we can get him. And then... Yes! Oh, we got him! All right, we've got a good bit of food now. That makes me pretty happy. Good job, Mossy. Doing good hunting by the lake side, even if it is frozen over. But alpha means that it is like the earliest version, kind of like a rough draft if you were writing a paper or an essay or something like that. And then beta is the next stage. And then you have your official release. Yes, Mossy is becoming a better hunter. I'm really proud of her and I didn't even upgrade her hunting skill yet. I don't think there's anything more for the... Um, the active skills that we would want just yet, but summon allies. Oh, we were gonna do that. You know what? Let's let's save that for when we get to the spring. And if we keep going for a little bit before we wait for the beta to come out, we'll summon allies and we'll just have some allies come with us as friends who can wander around the forest with us. That might be really fun. We can also hill allies. We can do the lion's roar to scare away some of the other cats who are coming nearby. But I think Mossy has earned an upgrade to her hunting skill. So let's go ahead and upgrade it. There we go. All right. So hopefully hunting will be even easier now. And I think, I mean, what, is, what have we gone out and gathered today? A lot of winter berries. So maybe I should start making little piles in our den so that we know what to gift different cats. 
But I like how we have laid out the golden seal and we're thinking about making kind of a, um, a winter moon celebration. Golden seal and the glowing fireflies pulled out. And then we'll spend our time on winter the 8th with all of the other cats and just kind of relaxing and getting to know them and then digging around our den of treasures and seeing if there's anything we can offer them uh, as, as little gifts. I'm sure, I'm sure we've got something in here for everyone. And next time I think we'll go down and we'll spend a little bit of time by the beach because finding the conch is pretty exciting. And it looks like, what is Mountain doing down there? And it looks like we're losing a little bit of territory down there. So that won't do. We need to claim the beach territory because it has seashells. And I love collecting things. So all right, we're going to get some sleep. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.